Hello Facebook friends, welcome to the soccer arena. Today I'm going to be looking at um, the footballer who goes by the name of Mr. Patrick, Mr. Patrick Vieira. Now Vieira is a player that used to play for um, Arsenal FC. But um, I would like you to understand that Before Vieira came to Arsenal FC, the North London club, Vieira was pretty much unknown in England. Yeah, Vieira was pretty much unknown in England. And um, he was brought over from AC Milan's, that's the Italian giant, he was brought over from AC Milan, the Italian Giants, over to Arsenal. Vieira used to play for AC Milan's reserves. And I think he had a couple of games for the first team. But Arsene Wenger, being the chief scout and the great manager that he is, saw something in Patrick Vieira. And he brought him over. Let me see if I got a picture of Arsene Wenger. And um, he brought Patrick Vieira over to England to come and play for Arsenal. Arsenal FC. That's a better picture. Of Vieira. And Wenger together. Yeah, and um, he brought Patrick Vieira over to come and play for Arsenal FC. Um, Vieira's first season in English football, playing for... Arsenal FC, Vieira was very slim and tall and a bit lanky, but he was a decent footballer. Patrick Vieira was a very decent footballer. That's Patrick Vieira's picture of playing for AC Milan. A lot of people in the football world don't know that Patrick Vieira did play for AC Milan but there you have it that's the proof that's the evidence and um yeah Patrick Vieira became a first team Arsenal player he became a first team Arsenal player because you couldn't really doubt the talents of this great footballer. That's Patrick Vieira, please. You couldn't really doubt, doubt the talents of this great Gunners footballer who goes by the name of Patrick Vieira. Um, there was, um, at this point, there was like a, a revolution going on in Arsenal FC as in new players came in and it was time for the old players that were left behind at the club by George Graham to leave so Arsene Wenger who was the new manager at the time came in with new ideas and he came in with a new philosophy now Arsene Wenger had brought in players like Robert Perez, Thierry Henry, that's Vieira for you. So it was like a new revolution going on at Arsenal at the time. And um, Vieira was always in the thick of things for Arsenal FC. 
He was always in the thick of things for Arsenal FC. Vieira, in my opinion, is what you call a modern day midfield driver. Yeah, he's a midfield boss. That's why I titled the theme of this topic, Patrick Vieira, the midfield general, because he's a midfield general. Patrick Vieira is a player that goes up and down the pitch with a lot of stamina. For me, Patrick Vieira, when he was playing for Arsenal, he became undoubtedly the best midfielder in the country. It's just as simple as that. No arguments. Patrick Vieira was the best midfielder in the country. He's a man that plays clean football. Patrick Vieira doesn't set out to break opponents' legs. He wins the ball cleanly. He passes it cleanly. And this is what you call a clean footballer. Patrick Vieira was at the heartbeat of the Invincibles. Now, the Arsenal team that are called the Invincibles, I think they're called the Invincibles because they went throughout the whole season. I hope I'm right. <laughs> they went throughout the whole season without losing a game. And that's your Invincibles right there. That's them. That's Arsenal 2003 to 2004. I can see Dennis Bergkamp there. I can see Lauren, Colo Torre, Henri, Vieira, Perez, Gilberto Silva, Will Todd. The list goes on and on and on. But Patrick Vieira was in the thick of things for the Invincibles. In other words, you can call Patrick Vieira a football warrior. Patrick Vieira, in my opinion, is a football warrior. Other teams began to play dirty against Patrick Vieira, but it didn't work because he's got the quality to boss a game. Patrick Vieira dominated the Premier League within the era that he played for the Gunners. He won everything there is to win in the English game. Actually, Patrick Vieira became the best midfielder in the world, in my opinion. He was a very important player for the French um, national team. I think I've got a picture. Of Vieira playing for France. Now that is Vieira. That's the great Patrick Vieira and the great Juan Pocano of Nigeria. Yeah, but at this point, Patrick Vieira became the best midfielder in the world. The media might want, might not want to say it or see it from my view but i'm saying patrick vieira did become the best midfielder in the world patrick vieira won the world cup with the french national team um when it was time for patrick vieira to leave the english premier division there was no way Patrick Vieira could have played for another English team. So Patrick Vieira had to leave. And um, I think he was looking for another team. But he ended up going to Italy. Where he played for... There you have it. Inter Milan. I couldn't see Patrick Vieira playing for... A team like Tottenham, who's Arsenal's rivals, or Manchester United. It just wouldn't make sense. Because he dominated the league 
for so long and he won everything there was to win with Arsenal.